Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God Almighty who has given us the gift of life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. For in him we live and move and have our being. Praise be to God forevermore. We are grateful that he has given us life and he has given us abundant life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that for the steadfast love of the Lord that never ceases, his mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So we thank God for his faithfulness and his grace towards our lives that we are still alive. And he has given us preservation and protection of our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And so this morning, we we, we partake of life and godliness in him. And I trust God Almighty that as as he has given us life, God also has a word for us that he has tailor-made for us that his word will bless us. People of God, this morning, I trust God by his word that his word will exhort us, empower us, will cause us to come to our place of victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. And so, uh, I also announce to you that tonight we have our uh, prayer meeting uh, online on YouTube um, and Facebook. And I invite you all to join us uh, at 8 p.m. tonight. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you all tonight for our prayer meeting uh, this evening. May the Lord God empower us all for us to join in this prayer meeting tonight. And I believe that God will manifest his glory in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. This morning, by the grace of God, I continue the message on trusting in God. Trusting in God. And uh, we've talked about so many things uh, on how to trust in God by depending on the Holy Spirit, by depending uh, in uh, in prayer uh, by also resisting the enemy uh, putting god first in our lives and also resisting resisting uh, the works of the enemy uh, we also trust in god by remembering the good things that he has done for us and we trust in god with all of our mind our heart and our being today by the grace of god i continue the message by trusting in god through resting in his love in his perfect love when we trust god we we trust god and we rest in his his perfect love and we can find that in the book of hebrews chapter 4 verse 10 to 11 hebrews chapter number 4 the verse number 10 to 11 praise be to god forevermore father speak to us this morning let the entrance of your word bring light bring illumination bring understanding let the entrance of your word break yokes bring emancipation deliverance and salvation and healing and encouragement in the lives of your people i pray in jesus mighty name amen and amen so hebrews chapter number four the verse number 10 to 11 resting in god's love as we trust in god and i read the scriptures the bible says that for He that is entered into his rest, he also have seized from his own works, as God did from his. Let us therefore to enter into his rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Hallelujah. May God bless the reading of his word. I'll read it again. For he that is entered into his rest, he also have seized from his own works, as God did from for his let us labor therefore to enter into that rest let any man fall lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief hallelujah praise be to god forevermore this is the word of the lord for us this morning resting in god's love whenever we come to the place of trusting in god we are putting ourselves in resting in god's love because god's love is unconditional the love of god for us as his people and the love of god for humanity and for mankind is unlimitless and it is unconditional and so when we trust god we put ourselves 
in the love of God and we bring ourselves into the place of resting in God's love. And I pray for you and I this morning, may God empower us all to rest in the love of God. Hallelujah. Whenever we face difficulty in our lives each day, we can sometimes wonder if God even cares. Why do bad things happen? Uh, we begin to say things like, why do bad things happen? Where, where is it that God, why, where is God when we need him? But the Bible makes us clear to understand in the book of Proverbs, that Proverbs chapter 3 verse 12, that because the Lord disciplines those he loves as her father, the son he delights in. And so God will always show us his love whenever we trust in him and we will rest in his perfect love whenever we put our trust in him it does not matter what happens to our life it does not matter what we go through the adversity the trials the temptations the difficulties the challenges of this dispensation god still releases his perfect love towards us when we come to the place of trusting in him it is at the place of trusting in god that helps us to rest in his love and i pray for you and i that may the perfect love of god be revealed unto you as you keep trusting in him and as you keep holding on unto him hallelujah the challenges of this life would not break you down the challenges of this life would not cause you to come into the place of failure it is at the place when you make the decision within you that you are trusting in god and god brings you from the place of difficulty into his place of love and i pray for you and i this morning may the love of god that is unconditional may it be revealed and be manifested upon you in every dimension of your life in your business in your health in your family in your work with god your relationship with god your spiritual life with god everything about your life that pertains to life and godliness if you will come to the place of trusting in him you will rest in god's love you will rest in the perfect love of god hallelujah for perfect love casted out fear whatever that is bringing fear whatever that is bringing intimidation whatever that is bringing unbelief in your life in god may the perfect love of god cast it out and may you come to the place of trusting in god hallelujah so the bible says that he who have entered into his rest has himself also ceased from his works you see so when we enter into the place of rest which is trusting in god the, our own works does not matter because even our righteous deeds are like fitting rags before God. So what God is looking for from us is that he wants to see our trust in him, our faith and our belief and hope in him. And when we come to the place of trusting in him, God then begins to release us into his perfect love. May the perfect love of God be revealed upon your life. May the perfect love of God be manifested upon your life. In this day, may you experience the love of God concerning your life, your business, your work, your health, your marriage, your children, and everything that concerns your life. May you experience the unconditional perfect love of God in your life as you keep trusting Him in all areas and dimensions of your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus, knowing that when we put all our trust in God, we enter into God's rest. And when we enter into God's rest, the peace of God that passes all understanding is being released upon our lives in Jesus' mighty name. God richly bless you. Share this word, propagate this word, Spread this word that this word will become a spiritual impartation and a blessing to as many people that receive it by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray for your people this morning. Help us all to keep trusting in you. I pray that let your Holy Spirit release the spirit of trustworthiness in God, in our spirit man. Let our DNA be injected by the supernatural power of your spirit in trusting in you that will release us for us to enter into the place of 
your love. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your love rest upon our lives and let your glory be manifested upon our lives in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus. Knowing that when we put our trust in God, the perfect love of God is being released upon our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Shalom. Peace from above.